Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, everybody? Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual. More Michael Jordan knowledge. More facts about Michael Jordan. We're going to stop the lies. You guys know what I'm doing here, man. I appreciate all your love, guys. I really do, man. I really, really do. So, yes, in this video, guys, I want to talk briefly about Michael Jordan not being perfect. Michael Jordan was not perfect. And that was okay. We're going to talk about that. As usual, man, you guys know what to do. Hit that play button. Turn the volume all the way up. This is the information I have to tell you. I have the facts for you guys, man. I told you my videos are for educational purposes. That's what it's about, guys. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, Michael Jordan is not quote-unquote perfect, right? We all get that, right? But for a lot of people... A lot of times I hear people talk about Michael Jordan fans. They really try to knock the Michael Jordan fans as if we're making up stuff about Michael Jordan and that we always believe that, oh, Michael Jordan, 6 and 0 in the NBA Finals, like that somehow means that we're saying that Michael Jordan was perfect. Now, guys, as usual, you know, I'm speaking about Michael Jordan, the basketball player. This has nothing to do with Michael Jordan off the court. I don't care about Michael Jordan being quote unquote perfect. Off no one's perfect off the court. You know, sometimes I hear people in comments or I hear people say things like, oh, I would never root for Michael Jordan. He's not my GOAT. He doesn't sign autographs or he's rude to kids or he was rude to his fans. Eh, hey, man, listen. Now, I've never met Michael Jordan, guys, and I'm sure Michael Jordan comes across as very abrasive. He doesn't do autographs like I've told you many times. Michael Jordan has to protect his image because people are always trying to make money off of Michael Jordan's signatures, his likenesses, all this kind of stuff. If you ever see how much memorabilia with Michael Jordan's signature goes for, it's ridiculous. So when people say, oh, I don't like Michael Jordan because he's rude or he doesn't sign autographs or he's not nice to kids and things like that, I want you guys to go back and think about Michael Jordan's first uh, tenure with the Chicago Bulls before he retired tied in 93 that first like eight years of his career right if you think about michael jordan at that point he was very personable guys he was very approachable he signed autographs he did a lot of these things he did home videos he did uh, interviews all this stuff he did but what happened was michael jordan became so big right in the world i told you bigger than sports that he got to a point where he became almost a recluse he couldn't go out anywhere without being swarmed by reporters, people asking for autographs, taking all pictures, all kinds of stuff. And Michael Jordan had to protect his likeness and image because there's been all kinds of stuff over the years. Michael Jordan's likeness being in video games and uh, Michael Jordan's likeness being used for the logo, all this stuff. Michael Jordan's bigger than any athlete in the history of the world. He has to protect his image more than any other athlete in the history of the world. So I get it. I've never, like I said, I've always, it's always about basketball. I don't care if Michael Jordan was rude to me. If I went for an autograph one day and he was like, I ain't signing your autograph, man, get out of here. Oh, well. Oh, well, man. There's many celebrities, many people in history that have been quote unquote rude or not nice to children or that. But like I've told you, for the most part, Michael Jordan is a very nice person. He's not a bad person. So for people to judge Michael Jordan for not signing an autograph or being rude to them or something like that, I get it. I get it. All celebrities have moments like that. They're not all perfect. Yes, there are some celebrities that are genuinely great, great people. They bend over backwards for the fans and, and stuff like that. And I get it. Like I told you, Michael doesn't owe me anything. And he shouldn't owe any of us anything. So if people want to get an autograph or they want to take a picture and he doesn't want to do that or he's came across as abrasive or rude to you. I'm, I'm, that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. However, we have to understand these guys are not perfect. They're not. Now. I, I went for no side thing there, but we're talking about being perfect. We're talking about the basketball player. No, Michael Jordan was not perfect on the basketball court. A lot of times I hear people talk about Michael Jordan fans, and they get upset, and they call us uh, Jordan stands. I hear them say, oh, you guys are, are you're a Jordan stand because you say that Michael Jordan was 6-0 in the final. They get upset about that. If a Michael Jordan fan says, yo, Michael Jordan was 6-0, and people get upset about that now, which is hilarious to me because, guys, when I was growing up, even the older people, like my father's generation, they used to be marveled about Michael Jordan 6-0. Whenever people told about Michael Jordan, it wasn't a comparison. It was just a conversation. People would say, you know, Michael Jordan was 6-0 in the finals, man. Never went to a game seven, man. He was just great. That was a feather in Michael Jordan's cap. Now, all these years later, if a Michael Jordan fan says, listen, Michael Jordan was 6-0 in the finals, never went to a game seven, you're immediately labeled as a stand? As somebody who doesn't understand basketball? Where's the lie in that? Where did Michael Jordan was 6-0? What's wrong with saying that? 
The problem has become that no one can match Michael Jordan's perfection in the finals. So people try to knock his error, the, the competition in the finals. You notice that's what they're doing now. They try to tear down Michael Jordan 6-0 by saying that his competition wasn't that great, his error was weak, and that he played on a super team. These are the excuses that they've come up with 20 years later. None of this stuff was being said when Michael Jordan was winning, even years after he had won. No one was saying this thing. This, this, this stuff came about the last, I don't know, five years or so, and we get it. We know where it's coming from, guys. We know. But I'm tired of people acting as if we always believed that Michael Jordan was quote-unquote perfect. Michael Jordan, the basketball player, was not perfect. He was damn near close to it, though, guys. You have to admit that. If you're being honest and objective here, Michael Jordan was perfect in the NBA Finals. Yeah, he had some up-and-down games in his career. We, they've all had bad games. Legends always have bad games. Absolutely. Michael Jordan had off nights. Right? Nights where he didn't make the shots that many shots. There were many times that Michael Jordan had a quote-unquote bad game. The thing about Michael Jordan that I remember, guys, growing up, if Michael Jordan had a quote-unquote a bad game, it was mostly because Michael Jordan's shot was a little off, right? Maybe he went 10 for 22 from the, from the field. Maybe he went 7 for, for 22 from the field. You know, 6 of 19. He had these bad shooting percentages, you know? That happens to everybody, guys. Everybody. Sometimes the shot's just not falling for you. However, what I always remember about Michael Jordan, if he had these off nights, right, he did other things to impact the game. I've told you, he could rebound with the best of them, right, at that shooting guard position, right? He was one of the greatest playmakers in NBA history, guys. He just was, man. He could do things without the basketball in his hands, the given goals, the backdoor cuts, the alley-oops, the post game, right? Michael Jordan could do all kinds of things. He was a great playmaker. So Michael Jordan always found other ways to impact the game, not to mention his elite defense. He can impact the game in winning on both ends. So when people say that Michael Jordan had bad games, yes, he did have off shooting nights. Yes, there were times that he didn't have a great game. No one ever said that Michael Jordan was perfect on the basketball court. No player is perfect on the basketball court. What we're often saying and what people get upset about with Jordan fans is that Michael Jordan was consistently better than most any other player in the history of the, of the league. His consistency was above anybody else that I've ever seen. You know, guys, when I was a kid, when Michael Jordan missed a shot, you were actually shocked. I'm not lying. That might sound crazy, but I remember growing up and being like, oh, wow, Michael Jordan missed. Because it almost seemed as if he was perfect. It did seem like that because he was consistently coming out on top. He was consistently putting up these great games and having great performances and having iconic moments. It's just the truth, guys. No one's enhancing Michael Jordan's career. When people try to say Jordan stands like they're trying to enhance Michael Jordan's career, I don't have to lie for Michael Jordan. His resume and career stands on its own. And that's why people like people don't understand. They, they, they can't believe the greatness of Michael Jordan, so they have to do things like knock his era down because they can't believe how he could dominate other all-time great legends of his era without these guys being plumbers or taxi drivers. That was the level of greatness that Michael Jordan reached because he kept grinding and kept being pushed by great legendary teams like the Celtics and the Sixers and the Lakers and the Detroit Pistons. He had to come up in this stuff, steel sharp and steel. They sharpened Michael Jordan to the point where he was just cutting everybody down. And they're like, yo, what's going on here, man? Oh, his error was weak, man. That's why. <laughs> So, guys, when we say that Michael Jordan was not perfect, no, he was not perfect. I don't know who anybody who thinks that he was perfect. I'll give you guys, you know, what's even interesting, I have a five-year-old son, guys, right? And I've raised him to believe that Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. You got to get him while they're young, guys. You got to get him while they're young and you have to <laughs> teach him the facts, right? But I, I tell him about the truth about Michael Jordan. You know, the other day I was watching a Michael Jordan uh, a video on TV and it was talking about, you know, game-winning shots or whatever. It was like a, a, a commercial of Michael Jordan. And he was talking about how, you know, I don't always make the game winners and this and that. And, you know, my, my son asked me, five years old, he asked me, Dad, did, did Michael Jordan always make the shot in? He asked me that. And you know what I told him? No. Michael Jordan didn't always make the shot. He didn't. Sometimes he missed it. That's what happens, though, right? I didn't lie to my son and be like, no, Michael Jordan never missed, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's being disingenuous and that's not being, you know, honest and open and being objective. Michael Jordan's my favorite basketball player of all time, not even close with anybody else. 
But I'm also objective to know that if there was somebody that I thought or was greater than Michael Jordan, I would be able to say that. I just don't believe that that's true. And when my son asked me an honest question at five years old, did Michael Jordan always make the shot in? And I told him, no, I didn't lie to a five-year-old and be like, yeah, Michael Jordan always made it. He's Michael Jordan, man. What do you expect, man? So that he believes in his mind that Michael Jordan was perfect. He never missed. It was the imperfections of Michael Jordan that pushed him further. The failures that pushed these guys to greater heights. Michael Jordan and his other great legends are where they were because of the failure. Not for being perfect. I would never lie about Michael Jordan's career to make him look better. I don't have to do that. Michael Jordan was not perfect on the basketball court. He was damn near close to it, but he was not perfect. And anybody that says that Michael Jordan was perfect or people who try to make it seem as if Jordan fans are saying that is not true. If you say Michael Jordan was 6-0 and never went to a game 7, that's just saying the facts. That's not saying that he was perfect. People can't deal with the facts when it comes to Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan's factual career is insane. People have to embellish and lie about other players' careers to try to match Michael Jordan. Think about that, guys. You don't have to do that with Michael Jordan's career. It stands on its own. The facts speak for themselves. And Michael Jordan was not perfect, guys. Most Michael Jordan fans, we understand that and we get that Michael Jordan was not perfect on the basketball court. Right? It's strictly about basketball, guys. No one's perfect off the court. No human being is perfect. So for people to make it seem as if Michael Jordan wasn't perfect off the court or that takes away from his basketball uh, legacy is insane, man. Insane. Are you perfect? Let's dig into your cat and your closets. Let's dig into your history and see what you've done in your life. Right? Let's put a spotlight on your life. If you had news cameras following around you, you and your entire life, right? Let's see what you was doing. People knock Michael Jordan for gambling and stuff, man. You got to be kidding me, man. So shout out to Michael Jordan's greatest on the basketball court. Michael Jordan was not perfect. And no Michael Jordan fan believes that he was perfect. He was perfect in the finals. And a lot of people get upset when Michael Jordan fans say 6-0 and in no game 7. They get upset about that. You know why? The truth hurts, guys. It's hard to argue against the truth, right? I'll catch you guys on the next one.